Are you looking for the top 5 best monitors in 2022? In this video, we will look at some of the best monitors on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description, so make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1, Philips 243B1. As well-rounded monitors go, it doesn't get much better than the excellent Philips B1. It starts with a stylish design with a very versatile stand meaning you can adjust the monitor into a wide range of positions easily. Build quality is very good, too. Add in a high quality 24 inches IPS display and you've got a nicely balanced monitor for your home office. The highlight here is the USB-C connectivity and built-in docking station meaning you can quickly connect or disconnect a laptop with minimal hassle. The only downsides are slightly limited brightness and weedy speakers. Those looking for a well-rounded monitor for office use will find it in the Philips 243B1 thanks to its good build quality, flexible stand, dependable panel technology, and docking station, all at a highly affordable price. At number 2, Bank BL2780. If you're looking for an affordable but still decent monitor for business or home office then the 27 inches, 4 kA Bank BL2780 is a great option. These types of monitors tend to be extremely dull but Bank provides a good pinch of style in the mix here. There's a good level of adjustment here, including portrait mode, and the power supply is neatly built in avoiding an annoying brick. If you don't need a resolution higher than Full HD, then the BL278 Serret offers excellent performance with various bits of eye comfort technology, good brightness, and even 99% SIG gamut. It combines the latest in eye-friendly technology with frugal power consumption and excellent viewing angles. With an aero bezel, fully articulated support, integrated speakers, and a decent input selection, the Bang BL278 Serret offers a flexible display option that can be used standalone or as part of a multi-panel installation. At number 3, Samsung Space Monitor. There are pros and cons to the 27 inches space monitor. If your desk is short of space, this is one of the only monitors on the market that really solves the problem. However, it does so without offering a large amount of adjustment. There's only tilt here and no USB hub either, which doesn't make sense. If you're using wireless peripherals and the adjustment is off for your desk, then the space monitor is excellent and is available at a decent amount below the RRP. The panel itself is top-notch with the 4 kA via technology providing a crisp and vivid image that will be suited to a wide range of tasks. Namely creative work, but you could also use it for gaming. At number 4, Lenovo Think Vision M14. Those looking for a portable monitor should seriously consider the Think Vision M14. Lenovo has made sure this 14 inches display does exactly what it's supposed to and is a versatile second screen for wherever you are at home or on the go. It offers a compact and lightweight design that's surprisingly stylish with a high quality Full HD IPS screen, including a handy low blue light mode. The buttons are fiddly, but this is a minor point as you won't need them very often anyway. You really just need to make sure USB-C connectivity is suitable for you. There's very little to dislike about Lenovo's stylish yet practical portable monitor, whether you need it for work or personal use. If you're looking for a portable monitor with a high quality screen, then the Think Vision M14 does the job brilliantly, as long as you're awk with USB C connectivity and fiddly buttons. At number 5, Low CU2790 Peak UU. If you're looking for an affordable 27 inches 4 kA monitor that's also stylish, then the Low CU2790 Peak UU is a solid option. It's well made and looks good, and offers solid color accuracy to go with its crisp resolution. The majority of tasks will look great on it, but it's not perfect. For those needing it for higher end, demanding tasks, the contrast and uniformity being a little off might cause you to look elsewhere. The Q2790 op is a cheaper option if QHD resolution is enough. The OCU2790 PQU looks good and has decent features alongside a 4 kA resolution a low price and solid color accuracy, so it's a great mainstream 4 kA option for the home and office. However, its poorer contrast and uniformity mean it's not suitable for more intensive workloads. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you guys in the next video till next time. I'll see you later.